What's going on? I, uh, I have this problem that I overcame recently. And the problem was I grew my Twitter following from like 1,000 people, 1,500 people to 5,000 people in just the space of a couple of weeks. So the problem was I had had a list of my Twitter followers and I, have a, I was having my VA go through that list and DM the people that were qualified um, that I wanted to, to speak to and send them an offer in, in, in a DM. Right? And the problem was as your Twitter following grows, you have to keep on refreshing that list. And now all of a sudden we have like two different spreadsheets and we have to keep them all uh, up to date and things like that. So what I decided to do was build an automation that would automatically look for any new followers on my Twitter account and put those into Airtable automatically. And then also, rather than having my VA go through and try to figure out like, is this person qualified? I built some logic that would look at their bio, their location, whether they had a link in their website or a link in their bio, whether they were using a default profile picture or not, how many followers they had, all these factors to, to, to build like a lead score and basically like make it really easy for my VA to find the most qualified people. And so I'm gonna walk you through how this whole automation works. So first things first, I use a service called Phantom Buster. It's like 70 bucks a month. And it has a Phantom Buster has a, a, a bunch of different services and stuff that you can do. One of the things that you can do is gather uh, Twitter followers from your own account, from someone else's account. I'm using it from my own account. So you can put Phantom Buster in what is called a watcher mode where it sends you only the new followers. So the output of this is, you know, it sends you this information, right? So it says, hey, you know, I got the from the followers and like here's here's the JSON file, here's the CSV file, okay? Now you have to get the, the actual data from this file. So what you do is first I, I check in uh, my Airtable to make sure that this, I haven't imported this exact same file before. That is that. And so if that passes through, then I do a regular expression on the Phantom Buster output to get the number of new followers as well as followers, and most importantly, the CSV and the JSON file. I don't use a CSV file, but what I do is you can use this, uh, you know, get a file HTTP module in Zapier and make whatever you're using. And what this does is gets the actual data from the JSON file, which then you split up here to get the individual data points. So think of this like your own little Twitter API, okay? So you do that and then I calculate like some date formatting stuff and put that all into Airtable, okay? So we're at step one, we've gotten a bunch of leads that are new followers into Airtable. Now, we're on to step two now, which is we have to qualify and disqualify these leads because I don't want my VA wasting time DMing every single new follower I have. I only want her fault, uh, DMing people. And for me, it's people that don't have a default profile picture. So they have a, like a real photo on their Twitter. And you can tell that from, let's see, like disqualified, uh, no, okay. Disqualified, somewhere in here, you can tell whether the profile URL Default, yeah, so default profile picture. Um, I can automatically tell if someone is using a default profile picture and I don't want my VA DMing those people because they're probably less engaged on Twitter, okay? So I have automatic disqualification around that. I also tell, as you can see here, I'm automatically figuring out what the country is based on their location. So like New York, New York is USA. I have a formula that figures out based on the keywords in the location, what country it is in, right? So sometimes London, England, so that's England, right? Hong Kong, Ireland, Japan. So what I do is I score the lead and I score the lead and then rank by that scoring. So here's how I do the scoring. Um, if there's keywords in the bio that I'm looking for, I add some points if the lead is is from North America, Western Europe, or any tier one country, I add five points. And if they have a website, I add one point. Of course, these formulas can be adjusted to you. And I sort this list 
by this lead ranking so that my VA is sending a message to the most qualified prospects first. Because you can't just send infinite messages on Twitter. You, you get blocked after a while. So that's what I do there. I have formulas, again, for disqualifying leads as well. So if someone has OnlyFans in their profile or coach, speaker, author, if they basically teach people, if they're info products, I don't want to reach info products, only agencies. And I do the same thing with qualifying in the bio. So if they have like marketing, market agency, agencies, growth, web flow, uh, e-com, Shopify, full stack, scaling, this is what's called a regular expression. And you can use it to, in, to, de to detect patterns in text rather than just like explicitly the exact terms. So that is how I, I do that. Um, then, so we have here that that is there. Okay, so um, then what I use is a service called Inboxes and Inboxes allows my VA to send a message on my behalf from my account. So that is that, that is how that all works. Um, if you would like me to set you up with an automated Twitter DM system or like automated Twitter uh, CRM, lead management, whatever you want. There's probably some fancy term somebody will come up with. If you want me to build this for you and, and customize it to your qualification parameters, let me know. Send me uh, an email. I'll, I'll drop my, my website in the contact form below. I will drop my Twitter in the, the, oh, the contact form. Jeez. The description of the video below. And uh, you get in touch and let me know. But I hope you enjoyed this demo video of the stuff that is possible with Phantom Buster, uh, with Make, eh, with Make, with Airtable, and with Inboxes. So I have no vested interest in these products. I think they're just cool. You can use them if you want. You don't have to. I don't care. So happy automating, kids. And uh, if you follow me on Twitter, chances are... If you have the right bio keywords, you will get a message from my VA at some point. So hope you enjoyed that. Have a good day. Peace out.